Welcome back to an ORCID X Capture tutorial. In this video, you will see how to start a library using the content providers within the ORCID X Capture platform, and how to build a component library database. In this example, we will complete a design by placing additional components from third-party content providers. ORCAD X Capture allows access to the content providers from within the Component Explorer. Use hotkey M or click Place then Component Explorer. Here we can access Symaxis, Ultra Librarian, and Snap Magic. Now simply search for a part and view its metadata and associated CAD data. Double click on a component row to place the part on the schematic. We will also grab an inductor from Ultra Librarian and a diode from Snap Magic. The footprint and other CAD data gets automatically configured in the tool environment. This makes the schematic always ready for layout design. To build a custom library database using ORCAD X on Cloud Workspace, launch the Component Explorer and select My Workspace. Create new components and categories in the workspace, and these categories, in addition to cataloging the components, also act as a template that simplifies and speeds up the component's creation. Right-click, select Add Category to open the new Category dialog. First, we will create a new category for capacitors. In the dialog, we specify the name of the category. We'll select the part type as electrical. We'll add a default description. Now, we'll add properties to the capacitor category. For each property added, specify the default value and description, the visibility of the property on the schematic, the value type, check this checkbox to make the visibility of this property as a column in the Component Explorer. And the next checkbox determines if this property needs to be updated. Now, associate symbols and footprint data to the category. Switch to Models tab. Now, click the attached icon and click Symbol to launch Symbol Dialog. ORCAD X OnCloud comes with a default template symbol library, which can be used to associate generic symbols. If needed, the CAD data can be uploaded via the file manager. Now, select the capacitor symbol and associate it. Next, associate the footprint to this category. Click Save. Once the category gets created, it will be seen under the My Workspace node.
right click the capacitor category selected, click menu, new component. Create a new component in the capacitor category. This will open the component dialog. The component dialog will come preceded with values specified in the capacitor category. Specify a part number, update the life cycle to active, update the description, and add material property. Now, click Save to save the component. Once created, the component will be seen under the Capacitor category. Also note the increase in the component count under My Workspace and the Capacitor category. Repeat the above steps to create another part, and this time, update the value property to create a capacitor component with a different capacitance value. Now. We will create another category for resistor. Creating subcategories within a category is possible by right clicking and selecting add. For example, we will create two new subcategories under resistor. Now let's create a new resistor component. In the subcategories dropdown, choose the subcategory under which this would get categorized. Click Save to save the resistor component. Multiple categories and subcategories can be created and used to gradually build a library database over cloud. We can then place any of these components from the workspace onto the schematic.